Got a family to feed. Chasing my now we all know NBA 2K19 could have been the greatest 2K ever, but 2K dropped the ball in so many ways, and it's time for us to talk about it. What's good? It's your boy Bake. Welcome back to my channel. If you like NBA 2K how-to tutorials, jump shot videos, live stream, and you like to talk about the NBA, make sure you hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on your notifications if you want to be part of Cook Up Nation. Alright, now, today we're going to be talking about five things that really killed NBA 2K19 this year. There's not no particular order, I'm just going to be focused on the five things I truly believe that hurt the NBA 2K franchise. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Coming in at the number one thing that hurt NBA 2K was hackers, delayers, and booters. Man, 2K had an amazing idea this year with giving us more opportunity to get a limited rep, get VCs, and get more perks. But a lot of these tournaments and these events was freaking destroyed by delayers, booters, and hackers. So many people found ways to cheat the system in order to win. And a lot of the same people was winning the same events. And it really took away from the greatness that 2K had in regards to coming up with good ideas to give us more opportunities to get a limited boost in VC. And so by doing this, this really hurt NBA 2K19 because people couldn't really enjoy and really compete fairly and equally without somebody cheating the system for their own personal gain. So that's why I believe hackers and delayers and booters really killed NBA 2K19. Coming in at the number two spot, man, archetypes and badges really killed NBA 2K19. The archetypes in this game was so unbalanced. You had stretch bigs being able to dribble like point guards, lockdowns being, being able to shoot threes consistently like sharpshooters, and post scores and shot creators being able to fade and have no shot contest whatsoever, man. And I think a lot of that had to do with people's having specific badges. Hey, try to play a game without any of your badges, and I guarantee a lot of stuff that a lot of people get away with, it won't happen because badges in this game are so overpowering, and they bail out so many players that have no skill whatsoever. A lot of times people are finding some way to exploit the game and use specific badges and they like to think they're really good but come on man you're really not when you got to do something over and over again just to get a bucket and that's why i truly believe that the archetype system was the worst ever in nba 2k history because of its imbalance and because of the badges overpowering certain player skill Coming in at the number three spot is the rep system. Man, 2K did a number on us again because they made us play countless hours against bots and AI just to get 99 overall and get all these rep rewards. They dropped the ball tremendously, taking away the opportunity for the community to play with each other. They had to go into my career and grind and grind and grind. And you wasn't even rewarded on playing good. You was rewarded on spamming certain things to get the most experience points in the game. And that sounds like a tedious task that you don't want to do when it comes to playing a video game. 2K, it's a video game. It's meant to have fun. We're meant to enjoy it. We're meant to compete. We're meant to play with our friends. And you took that away by making us grind over and over again for a rep and an overall they need to figure out a way to get the system back to what it used to be where the game became fun and became rich and the community was thriving to an all-time high and that's why i say the rep system in nba 2k19 was so bad that it ruined the game coming in at the number four spot you know what it is microtransactions was at an all-time high this year this year was one of the worst years man because we had to buy outfits for each and every different characters we had to buy the animations over we had to buy the jump shots over we had to buy the shoes over come on 2k and not only not only did we have to buy these things over but these things were so expensive shoes cost damn near 5k vc 
Hoodies cost 10K BC. BC is not cheap in this game. And we had to continue to buy Michael transactions, spend money time and time again for each player, for each mode, just to be able to enjoy this game. It was the worst ever 2K. And I think you got to figure something out. If you're going to continue to do microtransactions, VC has to be cheaper. VC has to be more accessible. Give us more opportunities to win VC without having to pay a hundred dollars or a pretty price just to get the some clothes, the shoes and things like that, man. And that's why I say microtransactions ruin NBA 2K19. And the last thing I believe that killed NBA 2K19 was the glitches, man. It was too many glitches. We know 2K always has some kind of glitch that kills the damn game. And this year was nothing different, man. You had the bump glitch. You had the inbound glitch. You had, had the post cheese glitch. It was too many glitches that ruined the gameplay. This game could have been so unbelievable great, but just too many glitches, too many unreliable gameplay experience ruined this game, man. And that's why I truly believe these are the five top things in my opinion that killed NBA 2K, man. The microtransactions, the rep system, the glitches, the archetypes and the badges and the booters and the layers. Well, that's my top five list, man. I'm looking forward to see what is your top five things that kill NBA 2K19. Put it in the comments below. I can't wait to see. It's your boy, Bake. Live life stress less. You're rocking with one of the best. Without the man upstairs, my life will be a mess. I will see y'all soon, guys. Peace. Different, different, magical, family, family. Got a nigga, spend it, spend it. Money all on your own. Drop it down, hit the floor, do the splits, move it slow, bring it back up again, turn around, let me see. You.